Hey, my name's Sean Sean. I sell art on SeanSean.co. Today, we're going to react to Sarah Taylor Modern Art. So right at the bat, you got a picture of, you don't have a picture of her in her banner, so maybe you want to add a banner in her banner. She has kind of her logo, uh, her website thing, so you kind of see that. It's tutorials, so you know it's about modern art tutorials. It's kind of clear what the thing is, uh, she has links to her website and her social media. She has a picture of herself that's pretty good close up um, on her homepage. On YouTube, she has YouTubes and pop it uploads. I probably reverse those. You have better reach with um, newer subscribers, so probably you want to sort your pop it uploads first so they can watch more of those, increase your watch time. Then she has Cloud Over Technique, Bloom Swipe, Large Canvas, Teaching Technique and various playlists at the bottom. So I think that's a pretty solid web page. Just this banner is not too exciting. Um, it has good contrast, so you can read it well, but I think I'd like a detail more of her painting that you could actually make out kind of what's what it is and then, but it is very clear, so. But anyway, let's get to the first video. First one's called Immerse 30 by 48 Cloud Over Pearl Flip Cup Big Bold Commission. Snapshot of what it looks like. Straight into the painting, looks like. So it's all poor painting, obviously. Just gonna run through all that. I'm gonna skip to where she actually starts painting. Here's where we start mixing the and paint. And I started with the cloud mix at the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and list the recipes for all of these paints in the description. Um, some of these kind of green and blues. So I think she could make it a little stronger if she had a headshot to start the video and be like, my name is X, I do poor paintings, I'm doing abstract, and then start, this is the name of the painting. Because you don't know who it is, so it could be any poor painter at this point, so you wouldn't know, you'd watch and be like, oh, that's a great poor painting, who is it? I don't know her name, Sarah Taylor, or I think Sarah Taylor. So even I'm Leftover forgetting. paint, so I can't tell you. So she's gonna mix all the paint. Let's skip ahead a little bit, you guys. I'm not gonna talk through this entire video, so I'm just gonna kind of let you guys watch, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer. It's crazy, she has so many colors in there. Okay, let's go to the painting. So it's nice Pellows out down. and makes this really pretty effect. So it's a fun, fun thing to play with on top of your thin paint pour. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yes, it's been uh, it's a, a good year so paint. far. I hope everybody um, is enjoying life and you know, just we're gonna get through this winter and hopefully things will prevail, <laughs> be a little bit more normal in the spring. But for me, the art, the process, this whole process is just... So she's probably talking about COVID and how artists are dealing with that, obviously. Let's get to the next stage. It's kind of a cool base level. It's very nice, neutral. Bam! And it's bubbling like that, I think, because he heated it up, so... The paint doesn't like that and it starts to pop. I don't know why she's tapping it. Maybe it helps the paint come out better. Let's see what she does here. Doing anything, so let's skip ahead a little bit. Like much when she started though but it's turning out pretty cool it's always funny because like where do you stop with this you know because you can keep playing with it a little bit so that's always a little tricky i think so is she gonna blow that or what's she gonna do here Cooler earlier. I'm not really convinced with all these bubbles. 
skip ahead to the end. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> now it looks cool. They have really nice dramatic music to go with this. Uh, let's go to the next one. This one is called Beautiful Color Pearls, Melting Pearls in this Huge Drip Tish Ikea. They have the finished product. Yeah, Sarah Taylor. The intro's pretty good. That's always good. Show like the finished product on the wall. Hi guys, it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome. Ah, she does have the headshot now. See, that's see how much better this is. Come back to my channel and to my studio. I'm so excited that you're here. So, I'm going to be showing you a pair of 24 by 48 inch canvases. So they're quite large, and I did a pearl painting with about four different colors. Okay, she's gonna mention all the ingredients, so let's get more to the paint part. And these all have satin enamel in them with a few other ingredients to make them really work. And then that is um, this beautiful chartreuse, and I mixed it with some anise green, also some Sharpen paints, which I'm loving right now. That's a really beautiful Payne's gray and black mm. base coat. Um, it's very dark and saturated. And here's um, a couple tubs of white base coat. So she's got a little tarkled of the paint. Let's see, I'll start here. With their iridescent gold, about half and half. You gotta have gold and then that's that iridescent amazing. pearl from Modern Masters, mixed with some titanium white. Mm. And I use those two quite often together in the pearl paintings. So over here, I've kind of painted these canvases just a little bit, just to give me a slight roadmap of what I'm doing and get the edges painted a little. Um, and... I want to kind of graduate the base coat colors up from the bottom up into the larger top part of the canvas. So I'm starting with that dark, that really dark Payne's gray black base coat. And then that's that leftover kind of green. Skip ahead a little bit, guys. Okay. And then I'm going to do a nice, healthy puddle of the, that dark indigo Jenkins green mix. I like how she just calls a puddle, you know? <laughs> On top. And I like to sort it's of more finish honest. the puddle off with a dark color like that to give some interesting depth. Looks like a big amoeba or something. And I just put a little splash of that magenta base coat in there just for fun. <laughs> Gives a little pop. And you'll actually see that in the painting. And a little more gold. Can't go wrong with some gold. Okay, let's go ahead a little bit, guys. So from here, okay, I sped the speed up. I sped this up quite a bit. So I'm just tilting out the paint and um, you're going to see me come in a little bit later with a little bit of iridescent copper high flow and kind of smear it across the canvas in a few different areas. I just really wanted like a metallic pop of color. Uh, yeah, and I'll just put some music on here and let you guys watch. Um, it's pretty cool. Just these might is. be some of my favorite. Let's skip ahead a little bit, guys. So I think she's adding those bubbles by the torch. I think that's how she gets those. If you watch this more in depth, you can get a better feel, obviously. a little bit more it's interesting he has so much cells it's kind of cool that she touches it up because you wouldn't expect that Girl hut a little bit. Oh, she has some bold ass gold here. It's really cool. It's very, very, very nice. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's amazing what you do with a lot of paint. So I think you get an idea of how that works. It's pretty badass. This next painting is called Mentorship. Check out what my student created after six sessions. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today what I'm showing you is the final painting, the final result of a 
It was about a six session mentorship that I did with a friend of mine. Her name's Katie Greenland um, of Katie Greenland Consulting. And she is wonderful and creative and such a bright light. And we had so much fun. Um, you know, generally I'm working in my studio alone. So this was a really good learning experience for me um, just to have somebody by my side and to to teach and yeah, it's always amazing like how much you learn as an artist yourself if you teach someone else you actually learn your process better which i've learned just watching these kind of channels as well and you know katie and i worked we worked on five or six different techniques before she decided that this is what she wanted to do on the large canvas and the pearls were not quite what she was going for so this is not a pearl painting uh, what we decided to do after playing with some different silicone oils was to do a beautiful big fluid painting like this and then she sort of splattered on top of it some it's called coconut milk and it's a hair oil mm. and i've uh kind of dug in and played with different types of oil and this one seems to be my favorite coconut it does not oil? leave any indentation or much mm. residue on the painting it's very clean it's a lighter oil than like your treadmill oils and I skip ahead a little bit guys there i just kind of was anchoring this it and i was letting really nice. her tilt but i was giving her a little support um and a little guidance through the process so let's skip ahead a little bit more what? i think it's good as is you don't even need the cells but they take it further than this i like it just as is let's skip ahead a little more so we're gonna add the cells with the torch Skip to the hand more. I like the cells, but I don't know if they're necessary per se, but let's skip ahead a little bit more. It's kind of the finished product. Looks pretty good. very cool i think she has that process down a lot let's go check out her website i think this is her old website i'm not sure what's going on but so she should probably update her links within the youtube it's wrong links so she has her logo so you know it's the same person this is very clear easy to read that's nice i don't know if you necessarily need it right here because you can obviously see it there she has kind of her drop downs she has uh, home shop art so Miracle Life Prints, Art Prints, Art Spirit Gallery, Gallery Installment. I don't know what the difference between this Art Spirit Gallery and this gallery. This is a little confusing from kind of a layman's terms. I don't know if you know what that is. Probably if you just click them, you'll find out. Um, so she has kind of some buckets at the top. I think I would do finished products. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool because you know it's a painter. So she's talking about living in Colorado. She has three daughters, a husband. So that's really cool. It's a little bit of her background. So she has these. I like these kind of interactive. These look pretty sharp. To easy to understand payment process. So that's really strong. And you can kind of see what it looks like. Um, so she has this. Good refund policy. Uh, let's go to art prints. So you can just buy like your lower end artists. You can start collecting this way, which is really smart. It's always a really great way to just, for the beginner collector, this is really smart. So they can get a print, start up, and then if they're later on, they want to commit more and they're like, wow, this is a great product. They're going to get the originals. So that's a pretty cool thing. She has, I'm just curious what the Art Spirit Gallery is. Oh, this is a gallery she's actually in. So it's in Idaho. I mean, I guess that makes sense the way she's done it, but it's just kind of weird because you have a gallery here too. You're like, what does that mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're represented by gallery, you definitely want to put it. And you put it within the shop window. So it's just a little confusing. It takes a second to get, but I guess that's probably how you would lay it out. She has commission requests. I would just put commissions kind of your real basics. 
Um, so that's good. That's kind of just your really starting thing. So you might want to have like the size that they want, like um, if they kind of know what the size would be, but you don't want to ask too many questions. You just kind of want to get like maybe this, maybe a generic calculator maybe you add, and like here's what the price might be. It's got about me. Um, so there's no picture on your about me. You should probably definitely have a picture. You could do it as a video too. She has an Amazon store, so that's pretty cool. We got Facebook, Instagram page, book classes. It's not too bad. Zoom class, an hour, 1.30. It's not too bad. I mean, if she's really good, it's probably worthwhile. So that's... What else does she have? Five class bundle, 600. Okay. It's not bad. I mean, you are got to think you're taking time away from the artist of creating art. Like in three hours, she could easily create maybe one or two paintings at least, maybe three paintings. So 350 isn't unreasonable considering... You're losing that time to teach. So yeah, I think I would just include maybe a video. She could do embedded video from YouTube in here. Um, I don't know if I like these gigantic buttons here. This seems kind of tacky, but um, I do like how these pop out. I think this is a really cool, really nice interactive. You just got a nice, um, you know, your top four special offers right off the bat, I think is really cool because you can just jump right in and see like your latest work. Because I do mine separately, but I kind of like this idea of right up the homepage, you just have the limited, the their newest work right up the homepage is really cool. You have to update that a lot, but I mean, it's not too hard to update websites nowadays. I'm not too thrilled about these gigantic, uh, she has a TikTok channel, which is cool as well. So that's a really new hot thing. You probably want to jump on if you're an artist. But yeah, that's Sarah Taylor. Hopefully you guys like it. If you want to give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you'd like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you on the next Artist React video. Thanks for watching, guys.